But I think the crowning moment for me is going to be when the lights go up. I'm so excited for that. Uh, the seller's agent actually was the one that informed us that they had been interested in it for several years prior to us buying. Um, and I think I kind of looked at Dan and went, we're gonna do this. <laughs> we're buying this house for the tree. <laughs> Not solely for the tree, but it definitely added. I mean, we can't complain about the two and a half acres. No. It's a beautiful old farmhouse. Yep. And it's just... The whole thing's dreamy, the whole thing. He's just right, it's nice, it's tall, it's straight, it's full, it's wide, it's really good in front of it. 30 Rockefeller okay. I was traveling right there on 80 and I was headed out towards uh, State College to watch a football game and I saw the tree and I worked my way back about a half hour, got back to the tree and I knew right away it was pretty awesome. It's very surreal to think that something that's, you know, in the back of our photos, if I'm sitting in my garden, it's always just right there. Something where we've walked the dogs and it's always just been there. It's very surreal that it's going to become an icon for everybody else because up until three weeks ago, it was frankly very humdrum. <laughs> you know, I am a very wordy person. The only time that I've been left speechless in my entire life was when Dan proposed. It just was a, a beautiful moment that I didn't think could be enhanced in any way by words. I think the lighting is gonna be the second time. We don't know the exact age, but the granddaughter of the person that actually planted the tree was here, and she put her guess at about nine, 1915, so we have to count the rings to see how true that is. Friday morning we'll set it up and then we'll work until December 3rd, and then December 3rd we'll light it up.